All right, everybody, welcome back to Mohawk Motors. My name is Jason. Oh, making more progress down in the workshop this week, closing in on completion, and uh, got some more stuff to show you. Let's get right to it, get to work, and get some stuff done. So, I guess first thing I'm gonna work on this week, I had a delivery today, and it is my teardown table. I found this one, this one's made by Clutch. And uh, I did a bunch of searching, a bunch of research. There's all kinds of people making teardown tables. And they range from like $400 to $1,400, $1,500, depending on what you need, what brand, what you're looking for, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, for what I'm doing and for the research that I did, I, I definitely didn't want to spend over $1,000 on one of these things because that's just, to me, that's kind of an absurd amount of money to spend on a stamped steel table. But two, it's, this is not my primary means of workspace, my primary means of, of support, making money for myself. So I don't need the biggest, baddest, most industrial teardown table in existence. I did a lot of researching on this clutch table because it was, I think, the most reasonably priced for the, the quality of construction. There were cheaper ones, but they seemed to be kind of, I didn't think they were gonna hold up. And uh, so this one, I think, if I remember correctly, it was right around $400, I think 420 something dollars or so. Uh, it's sold by Northern Tool and Equipment. And uh, I actually wound up, I ordered it from Amazon. I know a lot of people really hate Amazon, but ordering it through Amazon, it, I got it for the same price with free shipping. Ordering it straight from Northern Tool and Equipment, like it would have been another $100 worth of shipping, which I don't, I don't, I don't hate Amazon enough to spend $100 on shipping. So that's where I ordered it from. Got here today. I'm gonna get it unboxed and uh, start assembling this thing. I probably won't have enough time to finish assembling it today, but you don't know until you get started, right? So here I go, I'll bring it back once I've got all these pieces laid out. All right, everybody, well, it's now, what is it? It's Thursday evening, it's a little after nine. I'm finishing up for the night. I've been out here putting up some more of the stuff that has come in this week and uh, getting tidy, organized, figuring things out. So as much as it hurts my little hoarder heart, I have reduced my, my stash of jack stands down to these four red ones. I'll keep these here in the shop. They're six ton jack stands. I'm not sure what or if I'll need them, but at some point I may need to have a vehicle on jack stands here in the central space. So I'd like to keep those for that reason. I may need them to work on something in the driveway, you know, changing a wheel, have a jack stand for extra safety, whatever the case may be. The rest of these, these are probably all gonna go away. I'll sell them or do something, see if I can't find some friends or family that can use them and give them away, but these gotta go. <laughs> I'm a big boy now, I have lifts. I don't need to have three full sets of jack stands anymore. And same with all my wood cribbing. You know, I've been using wood cribbing for years to get my jack stands more height if I need them, to give the, the lifting pads of my jacks more height if I need it. I'm a big boy now with lifts. I just, I shouldn't need that stuff anymore. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to break my little hoarder heart and get rid of it. I also got the tire machine fully hooked up now. It's powered up. It's got air supplied to it. It's cock locked and ready to rock. And I finished putting together my new clutch teardown bench. I, uh, I really like this thing. It's worked out well. The shelf is the size that I had, by my math, would fit perfectly. My two uh, 4L60 and 4L80 parts bins. You can see it's got the drain pan right over here that holds a little over a gallon. Nice thick top. I think the top is actually eighth inch plate drawer that I can keep all my transmission specific tools in and uh, this end is double thickness so I believe it will be strong enough 
that I can drill two holes, mount my little tube piece for my transmission holding bracket. And I'll be able to mount my transmissions there both for teardown and assembly. And the way I see this working is get the transmission or a transfer case, whatever it may be on the bench, tear it down, give a preliminary rinse, get the heavy gunk and goop and whatever else off in the parts washer, and then load them into the dishwasher that'll be here in the corner. Once everything's cleaned up, bring it back over. I can lay it out on my bench and then I can start stacking pieces into my transmissions here on the end. So be able to do some nice dirty work and then clean work. And uh, I've got a specific area to do that now. I'm not just cluttering up my only workbench in the shop. I've got multiple workspaces set up out here, each with specific tasks and purposes. So I really, I'm putting a lot of effort and thought into making this place and setting it up for, you know, zones for jobs. Wheel and tire changing zone. Transmission and transfer case and even engine building zone. General assembly, disassembly, once I get all the clutter cleared off. Same over on this bench, general assembly, disassembly, etc. So it's really coming along, I'm really happy with it. And uh, I think we're getting really close to the workshop being done and starting to work on other things. I'm still waiting on my cabinet to get all my little organizer trays into and some more. I have a few more totes that I need to get into it. But once that cabinet gets here, I think I'll be able to finish organizing, putting away, tidying up and start on working on stuff. So I'm excited. This, this may be the last, the last video of workshop building construction layout for a while until our kitchen renovations are done. And I'm adding that countertop, water heater, et cetera, et cetera, over here. So exciting stuff, guys. I'll, uh, I'll see you Saturday. All right, everybody. It's Saturday, Saturday afternoon. And uh, I've been out here getting stuff done, jibber, jibber, blah, 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 blah. But anyway, toolboxes are organized. I'm. I'm still waiting on this dang cabinet to get here. I'm getting pretty frustrated. It was supposed to be here three days ago, four days ago. I actually caught the FedEx guy when he was here today, who was supposed to be delivering it. Talked to him, he's like, yeah, I'm supposed to have two packages on here. I only have one package. And the one package he had was something my wife had ordered. He's like, I don't know where this other package is. It's supposed to be on the truck. Do you know what it looks like? I told him, it was like, it weighs 105 pounds. It's about this size by this size and goes, I don't, it's not, it's not, here. we both looked, it's not on the truck. So I guess it's lost somewhere. So I'm going to have to figure out how to, who to get a hold of to get that sorted out, which is holding up my progress and finishing getting organized out here. I've got my electrical diagnostic stuff here that I want to store in the cabinet. <clears throat> I've got zip ties. Need to get stored in the cabinet. I've got my PPE, gloves, hearing protection, eye protection, more gloves. Needs to get into the cabinet. Some, it's grinding my gears that this cabinet is missing. And uh, otherwise, pretty well organized. I do need to get, uh... no, I don't need to. I'm like, that's it. I'm waiting on this cabinet so I can finish organizing. And when it's not freezing cold and snowy, I can get this shelf assembled out in the carport so I can store my stuff out there off the ground also. But it can sit here for now. It's snowy, it's freezing cold, and it's really windy outside, and I don't wanna go, I'm not messing around in that. So uh, that brings me to, I think that's it for this garage, workshop, organization, building and stuff today. I'm gonna start working on this core transmission. That'll be in a separate video because I wanna to try to give you guys a little bit more in depth on this one. Had a lot of people commenting, saying they wanna see what I'm doing with this transmission. So I wanna to try to 
give you more. So uh, that's it for now. Hopefully my next update, it'll be tomorrow or the next day and I'll be telling you, hey, this cabinet finally came. But uh, until then, I gotta work on other stuff. All right, everybody, it's been a few days. Uh, I've been working on the transmission, working like, you can see. So you'll see it in the different videos, but this one is more shop progress. So let's see. Since my last update on this video here, my cabinet finally came and uh, I'm actually really happy with this. It's just about perfect size for my organizer cases. I, I use these like fittings, hoses, tape, bolts, bulbs, and like all kinds of stuff in these things. I love them. They make it so much easier to find what I need when I need it. So got all these. I've still got a little bit of space for a few more in here. And you may have seen out of the corner of the screen there. I got my shop TV up. One of my other favorite YouTube guys, Puddin. Puddin's Fab Shop. If you haven't seen his stuff, check him out. I love him. He's entertaining. He builds cool projects. Love it. Uh, and as you can tell from that, I have internet down here now. I got the cable run down today. Uh, you can see I had it just enough to get the little Wi-Fi router in the actual workshop here. Once I get my cabinets up, I should be able to just hide that up on the cabinets, nice and tidy. And uh, it'll, it's, it'll work for now. But uh, I think that's it for right now. I actually did the other day, I went and picked up, you may have noticed in my other recent video, I was wearing a jacket in my nice heated shop. You may have asked, Jason, why are you wearing a jacket in your nice heated shop? Well, I ran out of oil. My brother Tyler was kind enough. He works at a local transportation company. They store their used engine oil in these 275 gallon totes. And uh, they just give them away to people locally that use them for heat or whatever. So I went and picked that up from him yesterday. So I have heat down here again. Don't need to be working in my thick winter coat. And uh, did I show you the teardown table when it was all finished? I mean, it's covered in stuff now, but my teardown bench also came. I got it all put together and this thing, I really like it. It works great. I've got two 4L80s worth of parts up on there. I've started cleaning up the parts for the, uh, for the 4L80 that's gonna go in the white truck. That's separate videos, we'll see those. And uh, hopefully this week I'll be picking up a desk so I can do my editing and things down here too. So a lot of progress. Uh, I'm waiting for the weather to, weather to get a little bit better and I'll get my other set of shelves set up outside in the lean-to and I'll get all my trash taken out of here. So I'll, uh, I'll bring you guys back when I have more to show you. We're getting really, really close. I'm getting more trucks unpacked and uh, just, just ticking things off the list. See you guys again soon. Hey everybody, it's a few days later. I've been, uh, been out here just steadily working at organization, storage, putting stuff away, unpacking my last couple trucks that still had stuff from the move in them, and just in general trying to get ready to be just full on working in here, full bore. So uh, if I remember where I left off, I had shown you I was putting this cabinet together and I've got this one all put together, all uh, filled, organized, kind of worked out perfect for what I needed it to do. Guys, I love these little, these organizer trays. They are awesome for storing all kinds of little bits and bops and parts and pieces. So got that all in there, ready to go. Snacks, PPE. Good stuff in there. I also, after I filled that one, I realized, oh, I need another cabinet. So I ordered another one and I'm using that one for all of my, my chemicals, oil, lubricant, spray paint, things like that. 
and keep them over here out of the way and uh, locked up so the kids don't accidentally get into it or anything like that. I've got my tote bin full of filters on top. One of the things that I want to try to be better about here at this shop is checking my current inventory for filters or parts or other things for the projects I'm doing before I order new parts or filters or spray paint or whatever else it may be because I've got a ton of stuff here that I should use. So you can see I'm getting all this stuff organized. I've been working on that. You've seen that before. And then another big update is out here. I've gotten more organized out here in the uh, tractor parking slash lean-to area. I use these two sections of shelf to get all this stuff up. It was all spread out like this whole area was full of stuff. So the shelves gave me the room to store vertically instead of horizontally. And uh, I'm really happy with this also now. Generators, pressure washer, backpack blower, all this stuff that I don't use very often, but I do use. Now it's got a good home. And then I've got, you know, the mowers, the, uh, the go-kart for the kids. One more set of tires that I'm not quite sure where I want to put. But, uh... It's usable space again. It's not just all jammed up full of uh, full of stuff. And that, honestly, like I think that's all the, the major significant changes for now. I'm, uh, I don't think I need any more shelves. I don't think I need any more cabinets. I have one truck with a few things left in it that I'm gonna get unpacked. And uh, then I'll, I'll, be, I'll be officially moved in, unpacked, and just about ready to get started on doing some some of the more fun projects here all right guys uh i'm gonna wrap this video up with the rest of my lights if you remember i was using the lights i had laying around for the nine over here that i added so two from my in-laws they got me early birthday presents so thank you bob and Lori. and then i have the rest the other seven that i need over on the bench so I'm gonna get them put up and uh, maybe, hopefully this will show an actual, like you'll be able to see the brightness difference in the video. I don't know, but we're gonna try. spots right now. Five. Woo! -hoo! All my lights match. That's been tweaking me out a little bit. So let all that's up. I think that's the last shop update video for now everybody. I uh, I don't plan on doing any more significant or notable work to the shop. No more furniture additions or anything like that until the kitchen remodel starts up at our house and I can bring these, those cabinets down here and get them installed. So that's it for now. I hope you've been enjoying this series. I appreciate all the comments and support and encouragement along the way. And uh, I'm looking forward to starting to share some real car, truck, performance, modification content with you guys again. Thanks again for watching. Till the next video, take care.